Cryptid hominids are something I like to cover here on the channel, especially when I find one that is lesser known. It would seem no matter where we find stories of these wild men, they have more in common with one another than they do differences. This is the case with the cryptid featured in this video. The appearance is that of a typical wild man, but there are a few small and crucial differences. Let's take a look. Welcome to IF, videos on history and mystery. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video again. This Sasquatch cousin is found in the Basque region of Spain. The European Bigfoot relative is known as the Basuan, the Basuan meaning Lord of the Forest. This beast is a recurrent character in legends from Basque country. The description of the animal is similar to that of cryptids like the Yeti or the Almus. They are said to be large, covered in thick, hairy coats, having an immense, shaggy appearance, its facial and body hair being knotted like a mane which reaches down to its knees. The wild human-like beings living in the darkest forests and deepest caves. This is all pretty standard so far, so let's look at some of the differences between the Basawan and other hominid cryptid creatures. It is said that this forest man is a protector of flocks of sheep. The Basque region is an area that relies heavily on sheep farming and this has shaped the local culture and customs. Shepherds say that the Basawan will make its presence known when a storm threatens, growling from the woods to warn shepherds to put the sheep inside and out of the dangerous weather. The wild man also provides protection from wolves, this using its amazing strength often portrayed as being nimble bodied and sometimes scary and cruel. This would also seem a paradoxical belief as for as much as the beast is feared, he is also respected and seen as a primitive farmer, toolmaker or miller, from whom humans have learnt the skills of sowing seed, making saws or forging metal implements. This teacher of man has been gifting knowledge to local shepherds for thousands of years. Stories tell of how the Basawan was an exceptional toolmaker and it is said to have shown the first farmers of the Basque region how to build their mills, axles and saws and the process for mounting metals and forging them into tools needed to work the land. We could look at the skill shown by the cryptid as a clue to what he could possibly be. An interesting theory proposes that the legend of the Basawan originates from the Proto-Basque interactions with the Neanderthals which were known to have co-inhabited these forests with our Homo sapien ancestors for almost 10,000 years. This idea has been echoed across the planet with the many reports, legends and myths of wild men. We do have to remember that the reason for the extinction of the Neanderthals around 40,000 years ago remains unclear. Anthropologists have proven that at this time the Neanderthals were actually more developed than the existing Homo sapiens who shared the land. Recent discoveries point to a well-developed and shared Neanderthal culture. On the very leading edge of research, some have proposed that there is evidence that these human relatives carried out medical procedures and had a unified religion. The similarity in Neanderthal burial sites showing a commonality in different groups covering a large area. The Neanderthals erected the first stone monoliths and constructed wooden huts within the caves they lived. They were proficient hunters and tool makers, mastering the art of making glue from birch tree resin which was then used to bind a stone to wood to make certain primitive but effective tools. All of this while modern Homo sapiens were still basically gathering what they could from the environment and not yet having developed the skills which would propel us to being the only surviving hominid on the planet today. That is, if you follow the mainstream teachings of history, I think there are many small pockets of living Homo sapien relatives all over the planet. These small groups surviving thanks to their ability to hide from a species that would kill them out of fear us. The Basawan is not feared as much as other cryptid hominids. This it seems is because of the respect it earned when it taught the early ancestors of those from the Basque country. 
The parallels between the Basawan and the Neanderthal man are strikingly similar and, coincidentally or not, one of the last places for the Neanderthal to die out was the Pyrenees in the north of the Iberian Peninsula the very area we find the stories of the Basawan. Is it possible the Basawan is as old as the Basque people themselves? Was the Basque mythology really born from real Basque prehistory? Is this creature a long surviving Neanderthal? Let's take a look at a tale of interaction with the creature and see if it can provide us with more clues. The story of a lady kidnapped by the Basawan this story tells of a Basawan which took a pretty young woman away from her parents and says that they lived together at the bottom of a crevasse, a real beauty and the beast tale. The shepherds told of how every night this beautiful young lady came up out of the pit to comb her hair by candlelight. One night, overcome by the girl's beauty, a shepherd decided to snatch her away. She was taken back to the shepherd's shack. The men are careful, fearful that they will be spotted by the Basawan. Back at the shack, the girl tells the man of her story. The Basawan abducted her from her home. She now lived with him, not willingly, but under the beast's compulsion. The man offers to free the girl from her situation. She fearfully agrees to tell the shepherd that the Basawan may come and eat them both. The shepherd promises that they will trick the Basawan. After a couple of days have passed, with the girl failing to appear back at the creature's cave, the Basawan began to worry. Thinking that she might still be at the top of the pit grooming herself, the Basawan goes to look for his wife. The wild man could not find her anywhere, fearing that somebody had stolen her away or that she had managed to escape. The creature began to search, his anger rising as he ran through the woods. The Basawan ripped trees from the ground and bellowed a haunting, echoing cry as it searched. It roamed everywhere searching for its lost wife, but was never able to track her down, in the end dying from its grief. We can learn from the story that the Basawan was a complex creature capable of understanding emotion and that it had the ability to live happily with a human woman. Could this story be about a living Neanderthal? Was it the last of its kind, desperately in search of a mate, this leading it to kidnap a girl from a nearby village? Have today the Basawan now gone extinct? Reports still do come in from time to time, but this is now more of a legend than an ongoing story. Maybe if researchers looked into the tale of the girl, they could find evidence of a long surviving Neanderthal population. What do you think the Basawan was? Had you heard of this cryptid hominid? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what I do here on the channel, hit that red button, like and share. You can catch the latest by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.